Hello everyone, good morning to you all. Um, happy Tuesday here. Um, yeah, it's going to be another really fantastic, wonderful day today. Um, super impressed with all your great work yesterday for a Monday. No excuse, Monday, and you all did great with that. Um, that very, very impressive, all of you. As always, um, great with your just your math, quick quiz, reading quick quiz, love seeing all those poems. Um, yeah, I'd love being able to read with everybody I was able to read with yesterday. Hope I can read with even more people today, but just... Always, always, always really impressed with all of you. Um, but going to take a look here at what our day is going to look like. Uh, just a few reminders always. We have our free choice projects up top. Um, you can always go through and add more poems, play more math games. We also have the extra time activity folder, reading response activity folder. So all those things that you can always do if you run out, if you... Um, have some extra time and you're looking for some more fun things to do. But today is 5-12 or 5 slash 12 Tuesday. So right up and up Tuesday, you're going to see our big checklist. Um, probably one of the biggest things just today. Remember, we have art today. Um, but we Otherwise, we have just a normal checklist. Make sure you go through that. Morning meeting message. Like I always say, I love seeing your morning meeting shares. Remember, you can always do a written post or you can do a video for the morning meeting share. Uh, math. Gonna have another good quick quiz. It's a brand new kind of a quick quiz today. We're gonna be doing some new topics. Those first uh, four quick quizzes were very, very similar, but we are gonna be doing some new ones today now. So I wanted to spend just a tiny bit of time on this. So watching this video, you're gonna get some uh, clues on this. But number one says, I'm going on vacation for two weeks and five days. Which equation can be used to find the number of days I'll be spending at camp? Explain how you know. So there's a hidden number in there. You have to figure out well, how many days is actually two weeks? Well, I should say, how many days are in one week? And you can use that to help. So is it A, 2 plus 7 plus 5 equals M? B, 2 times 7 times 5 equals M? C, 2 times 7 plus 5 equals M? Or D, 2 times 5 plus 5 equals M? You're, the big thing is you need to know how many days are in one week. And that'll help you with that one. And then you can use your sentence starter. Well, I think it's letter A because, or I think it's B because, I think it's letter C because, or I think it's letter D because. Um, number two, solve for J. So right there, five times seven minus J equals 30. So you're gonna have to try to figure out, okay, well, I first have to figure out, well, what's five times seven? What does that equal? And then I have to minus, minus the J from it to get to 30, okay? And then number three, Inez had $14. She spent four or she spent six dollars on a movie ticket. Okay. Then her father gave her four dollars allowance. That's like just four dollars for money. How much money does Inez have now? So that's a multi-step problem. Um, so take your time on your math stuff. Um, you know, you can shoot do work on paper, explain everything, notability, whatever you need. Another really good biography lesson today. We're doing the biography summary. We have another quick quiz. And your reading quick quiz today is suffixes. Oh, clicked out of it by accident. And then for poetry. Uh, you'll see we're going to be doing concrete poems and I have some good concrete poem examples there. So, uh, yeah, everybody, if you um, have any questions, you need anything, let me know. Otherwise, let's have an awesome day today. Bye, everybody.